Hey there, this is Ocean K with an introduction to a new set of rack extensions that I call the A series. Each rack extension in the A series is a set of modular synthesis components. The A series isn't a synth per se, but rather the building blocks to allow you to create your own synth. Now, to start with, we have two rack extensions uh, in the A series the A series 1 and the A series 2. Now, the A series 1 has a MIDI to CV converter a VCO or voltage control oscillator, an envelope generator, a VCA or voltage control amplifier, and an LFO. The A-Series 2 has a poly CV splitter, a sample and hold, a noise generator, a VCF or voltage control filter, a ring modulator, and a mixer. Now, if you're interested in learning more about any of these individual components, check out the videos in the description that go over each component in detail. But for now, let's see how to build a synth using the A-Series. Now, if you've never worked with modular synthesis before, some of this might be a little confusing. But don't worry, there's also a video in the description that goes over the basics of modular synthesis. But for this introduction, we'll just start hooking things up to make some sound. So let's start with just an A-Series 1. We'll have our MIDI to CV uh, converter uh, run our... Uh, the gate will run our VCA, and uh, the CV will run the CV signal to our VCO. We'll have just a sine wave go into our VCA, and our VCA out is already hooked up to our mix channel. So, if we uh, start playing notes, we start hearing a sound. Now this is a very simple synth, it's just a single sine wave oscillator directly driving our VCA. Now when they directly drive, it means that we don't have any fade-ins or fade-outs. When we release a note, the note goes away. If we'd like that to fade out, then we need to drive our um, envelope generator, which then drives our VCA. So let's hook up our gate signal that goes first to our envelope generator and the out of the envelope generator goes into our VCA. Now, if we add maybe a release to this, we hear that release. We can also add an attack that goes in, so it fades in, and we can do all the traditional stuff that we would with an envelope generator. Now, just because we're here, why don't we add an LFO? We'll just have a sine wave that controls how about the fine tune of our VCO. We'll slow that down. And we can also trim that, so it's either very dramatic or not there at all. We'll just have a subtle thing. So there we go. A very simple synth. It's just a single oscillator uh, controlling an envelope generator, which drives our uh, amplifier. We've got an LFO that adds a little vibrato. Very, very simple. Well, now let's look at something a little more complicated. Let's look at the included... Uh, patches. Let's bring in, how about acid bass? Let's see what's going on here. So, this is still a pretty basic synth. We've got just two oscillators. Both of them saw waves, one that's two octaves down and one that's one octave down. If we flip this around, we see that we have the gate signals driving both envelope generators. The first envelope generator is just controlling the VCA, and it looks like both uh, oscillator signals are going into the single VCA. We've got our second envelope generator uh, going into the programmer. And if we look in the front, we can see what it's actually driving. It's this peak on the equalizer. It's actually driving this signal. And it's doing that just through the programmer here. If we look at our EQ, our CVN is controlling that information. Now we also see that this high shelf is, uh, the gain is going up and down. We can see that going on here. And that corresponds to this LFO. We see this uh, LED corresponds to that signal. So it's still a very basic synth where we've got just two oscillators, envelope generators, one that's uh, controlling the amplification, one that's controlling uh, the uh, 
frequency sweep of one of the EQ parameters, and we've got an LFO that's controlling the gain of the high shelf. Very simple, but you can start to see that you can do lots and lots of tweaking with just a few of these, uh, of these strips. Well, now let's look at something even a little more complicated. How about, um, let's go to our A-Series 2, and how about our fifth pad poly? Now what's going on here? So this is a polyphonic synth. If we look at our poly splitter, we can see that we can generate up to four voices right here. Let's open up all of these uh, A-series rack extensions. So we see we've got a lot going on here. We've got uh, each voice seems to be composed of one, two, three, four, five uh, oscillators running through, it looks like, each of the uh, envelope generators. There are chained VCAs, and looks like two of the LFOs are being used. This is just a single voice. So if we look, this is the second voice, this is the third voice, and this is the fourth voice. Now notice we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 A-Series 1s, one A-Series 2. Looks like we've got a bunch of line mixers, uh, four sets of screams, four sets of RV7000s, four sets of delays, four sets of choruses. All of that's going on. If we look at our DSP, we're only at three bars. We've got 17 A-Series uh, rack extensions going on in a single patch, but we're just at three bars. Occasionally it peaks up to four, but just barely. So this is a pretty... Uh, the A-series are pretty light on DSP to be able to run 17 instances at the same time with just three, maybe three and a half bars. So that's pretty good. Well, as you can see, the A-series can get very complicated, as complicated as you want it to be, as complicated as you want your patch to be. In this case, there are uh, 20 uh, oscillators for this single polyphonic patch. Uh, but each patch can just be in its own combinator. Well, if you're interested more about the A-Series, check out the other videos explaining each one of the modules in detail. Check out the video about modular synthesis in general. And uh, otherwise, just play with it. Have fun. I'd love to see what patches you develop. I hope people share patches uh, uh, with each other. If you have any questions, my uh, email is on the product page, and I'm also very frequently in the uh, user forum. So go ahead and post a question there. Thanks so much.